I'm Emily Carpenter. I'm doing my PhD in physics under the supervision of Dr. Tony Mestrovich. And my talk today is titled, Liver Cancer? No Need to Hold Your Breath for a Cure. Take a moment and think about your breathing. As your lungs expand and contract, they're moving the organs around them, particularly your liver, the blue organ on my slide. For liver cancer patients, this breathing motion can be a serious problem. Last year, over 3,000 Canadians were diagnosed with liver cancer, and on average, only 19% of them are going to survive five years after their diagnosis. About half these patients will have radiation therapy, where a large machine aims beams of radiation into the patient's body to kill the tumor while avoiding the organs nearby. So if the patient's liver is moving while they breathe, how can we safely treat them with radiation? Thankfully, here in Vancouver, we have an advanced radiation machine that can do tumor tracking. It can tilt the radiation beam to follow or track a moving tumor while the patient breathes and continuously irradiate it. But there's a problem. When we prepare for a radiation treatment, we first put images of the patient's organs into a computer, shown at the top of my slide, which then predicts where the radiation would go in their body during their treatment. The computer calculates if we can kill the cancer cells while keeping the organs nearby safe. Since these images are taken at one point in time, we call this a three-dimensional or a 3D prediction. And it works well when the tumor and organs are not moving during treatment. But during tumor tracking treatments, there's a lot of motion. The beam is tracking the tumor and the patient's breathing is making their organs move. And since this computer prediction is based on just one snapshot in time, we won't know if at other times an organ will move too close to the beam and receive too much radiation. To address this, I developed a new prediction method that uses 10 snapshots of the patient's organs over their breathing cycle, from inhale to exhale and back again, shown at the bottom of my slide. With this extra dimension of time, my four-dimensional or 4D prediction knows where the organs move to at different times, which makes the radiation prediction more accurate. Next, I wanted to test it. I ran 3D and 4D predictions of 10 patients' radiation treatments. The 3D method showed that all of these patients' organs would be safely below their radiation limits during their treatment. But my 4D method showed that actually, at some point while these patients are breathing, about one in five organs would get too close to the beam, exceed its radiation limit, and could be damaged. Because of my research, the Vancouver Cancer Center now uses a version of my 4D prediction method before any patient has a tumor tracking treatment. Now we can safely use tumor tracking technology to save the lives of liver cancer patients. Thank you.